The following is an ESG 360 video. I'm joined today by Mark Peters, Senior Analyst covering storage at ESG. Welcome, Mark. Thank you. So this is the time of year when we put our thoughts down on paper for what we might expect to see in the coming year. Mark has recently published a blog titled The Year Ahead in Data Storage. So you touch on a lot of interesting uh, topics in that particular I'm glad piece. you think so. Okay. Well, I do indeed. And one of those is your thoughts on the activity in the flash storage market, specifically around vendor consolidation and increased M&A activity. Um, why do you see that happening in, in 2015? For a number of reasons. Um, first off, because, and let's be very clear on this, flash gets treated as if it's a market. It's not. It's a technology or a set of technologies. And as such, it's just going to be integrated um, as effectively as possible by many of the big players. Um, and right now, if you look at the IT market as a whole, um, particularly on the infrastructure side, we seem to be going down a consolidation route in general. And so I think that's just going to be replicated in Flash. If you look at it as a technology and reflecting the, the integration that's going on, we're just going to see more consolidation. And why specifically? Because you could say, well, hey, look, lots of the vendors have already made their choice. They've either developed something or they've bought someone already. Mm -hmm. Frankly, there's still innovation on the Flash side. And as we get to an increasingly consolidated, increasingly hybrid approach to infrastructure, so people will just snap up. Uh, who's left. Will there still be all flash and hybrid flash independent companies? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Again, that's because of innovation and because there's room for lots of companies in this market. But I think you'll continue to see people snapped up as well. Great. Software defined storage. Another oh, yes. topic that uh, is controversial, never uh, short for industry commentators like ourselves and as well as vendors and customers alike to discuss and debate. Is it a meaningful term to you? Do customers understand what it is? Yes, it is meaningful. And in fact, looking at that word, it's meaningful. It's, it's actually too, too full of meaning. Mm -hmm. That's its problem. Um, and the analogy I often use, or not the analogy, the parallel I use, if you think of cloud a few years ago, mm -hmm. everyone was draping themselves in sure. the, the cloud, cloudiness. Cloud washing. Cloud washing. And so we, we're getting the same thing. It doesn't roll off the tongue so well, but SDS washing, if you can do such a thing. Um, because it's a very broad term, what we did with cloud, if you think back, is we started to sub-segment it. So we looked at different as a services, whether that was platform, software, and so on. Mm -hmm. And I think- Define the components. Yeah, so we need to define software defined. I know that's a bad joke, but it's very true. And as we do that, um, so we will understand it better. But in terms of value, uh, we just completed, you should know, but we just completed uh, some research on next generation storage architectures. Mm -hmm. This was one of the ones we looked at. I can tell you, every time we mentioned software defined, it was a very open question. Um, the first reaction from anyone, these are end users, big end users, sure. first reaction is either a giggle or a guffaw, a little titter of embarrassment, they're not quite sure what to say, then you'd have the discussion, then they're really interested. Um, and so it was the least understood because of that definition mm -hmm. problem that we have, but the most desired of what's coming. And I think it's that breadth of its capabilities is what leads to the confusion. But when you get down to the specificity of the individual benefits that it can deliver in terms of efficiency, in yeah. terms of automation, in terms of taking us away from managing storage all the time, that's where the value is. So conceptually sound and appealing to customers, but maybe the industry as a whole has to do a little bit of work on the, uh, the marketing and the customer awareness and resonance aspects of it. Well, and the other thing, I know we're talking about 2015, you will see a whole rush, I was gonna say rash, that's not the word, but you'll see a whole rush of companies coming out of stealth this year mm -hmm. in storage. The vast majority of those are something to do with software-defined storage. So it's a concept whose time has come. Mm -hmm. Are there any other less obvious predictions that uh, you'd like to share with the audience? For storage? Coming year? In storage, absolutely. <laughs> storage. Um, yeah, there is one that I'd like to mention, the word security, mm -hmm. which tends not to be said at the same word as uh, storage, mm -hmm. at least not uh, traditionally from the yeah. business level, will become uh, very common. 
every storage vendor is going to have to say something about this because security, as you know, is top of everyone's mind right now. Um, and it's interesting, this is not just the physical security of data or the system security of data. Those are the obvious ways to talk about it. And even there, we need to do more than we've historically done. Mm -hmm, yeah. But there's also now a really interesting thing, talking to uh, our colleague, John Olsick, who, who really focuses on this. Um, there is an incredible volume of security analytics being created. Mm -hmm. Where and how do you store that? The driver of storage capacity. Securely. Yeah. But also where yeah. and how do you store that securely? Uh, well, indeed. Um, so that's one of those things that I think traditionally we haven't talked about a lot, but this year is going to be top of mind. Definitely worth watching. Well, thank you, Mark. Great stuff, insightful as always. You can read more of Mark's blogs and research at esg-global.com.